around 20% of the 20.27 billion billionaires in the United States inherited their wealth from their family. The majority did not. Over two-thirds of these wealthy individuals are entrepreneurs. However, where does all the money go once you become a member of the Four Comma Club? I mean, it's not like most billionaires keep their fortunes in a savings account, correct? In that case, where do you think they put all their hard-earned money? Probably in stocks, right? Investment funds? Pension plans? Properties? Under the bed? Within the walls of their homes? Well, let's find out together as we bring you a fascinating peek into where billionaires keep their money. But before anything else, don't miss out on any video updates. Make sure to subscribe. Cash and Cash Equivalents Billionaires tend to be frugal, and perhaps most of them are. Spending their money would prevent them from increasing their wealth. Despite spending on necessities and some luxuries, they save and expect their families to do the same. Money kept by billionaires is usually in cash or liquid cash equivalents. A savings account is established before investing begins. Billionaires rely on different banking systems than most of us do. A billionaire doesn't walk into Wells Fargo and wait for a teller. Instead, private bankers are likely to manage their wealth and any bank accounts. So you won't find any teller lines here. These private bankers provide services specifically for high net worth individuals. The wealth managers at these private wealth divisions are explicitly trained to handle accounts with many zeros, commas, and investments. High net worth clients often have their bankers who manage their portfolios and assist them in their daily lives. I mean, don't you just love having your wealth manager give you a glass of champagne while you look over your fortune? This kind of service is hard to match. Approximately 25% of billionaires' money is kept in cash according to studies. A cash reserve should be available in case of a downturn in the market as an insurance policy for the client's portfolio. Billionaires frequently invest in cash equivalents, which are financial instruments that are almost as liquid as cash. Cash equivalents include treasury bills and money market mutual funds. Billionaires sometimes keep their cash in treasury bills, rolling them over and reinvesting them. Once they need money, they sell them. The U.S. government issues treasury bills to raise money. Most people buy treasury bills at a discount. You profit from them when you sell them at a lower price than their face value. Berkshire Hathaway CEO Warren Buffett's portfolio consists mainly of money market accounts and treasury bills. There are also millionaire accounts with zero balances at private banks. Money is kept in cash and cash equivalents and checks are written on a zero balance account. As custodians of their various accounts, the private bank sells off enough liquid assets to settle the day's business. The FDIC does not insure the accounts of billionaires. In contrast to a custodial private bank, their money is held in their names. The safe deposit boxes of other billionaires contain cash in multiple currencies. Safe deposit boxes are conveniently located worldwide, and each currency is held in a country where that currency is used for transactions. Real Estate Over the past 200 years, billionaires have invested most of their money in real estate. Billionaires have made and kept their wealth through real estate investments all these years. First, buyers bought their own homes, followed by other residences, usually for renters. In addition to purchasing personal real estate, they've also purchased commercial property such as office buildings, hotels, stadiums, bridges, and more. Property portfolios of billionaires are often significant. Real estate agents begin bringing them with deals when they establish themselves as buyers in the market and they find it convenient to secure financing. Major investors own real estate worth many millions of dollars. Despite its non-cash nature, real estate is a lucrative investment in the long run and a tried and true investment for billionaires since it provides them with passive income. Stocks and Stock Funds Simple living is the key to some billionaires. Dividend-paying stocks and index funds are their investment tools. In the same way that they like the passive rental income from real estate, 
they also desire the passive income from equity securities, providing that managing investments is not their cup of tea. Ultra-rich investors may control one or more major companies, yet many billionaires own just a few stocks. Many people hold index funds because index funds earn decent returns and don't require much management. They also offer excellent diversification and low management fees. The passive income dividend-paying stocks are attractive to billionaires. Capital appreciation is also substantial, but generating current income is more important for others. Private equity and hedge funds Hedge funds and private equity funds are not open to the general public unless you're a multimillionaire. The public equity market is well known because its shares are traded on stock exchanges. Liquidity is one of the market's advantages. Stocks or public equity can readily be liquidated. While private equity funds typically receive investments from large organizations such as universities and pension funds, they don't generally invest themselves. Accredited investors must have a minimum net worth of $200,000 to invest in private equity funds. Individuals and organizations can be accredited investors, but their status is regulated. Public equity funds are subject to more regulations than private equity funds, making private equity an option for some ultra-rich investors. Private equity is not the same as hedge funds. Hedge funds pool funds and employ several strategies to earn outsized returns for their investors. Fund managers invest in hedge funds based on their perceptions of what will earn the highest short-term profits. Commodities Many commodities serve as stores of value for billionaires, such as gold, silver, mineral rights, or cattle, among others. However, they require storage and are complex enough that many billionaires do not want to deal with them. Alternative Investments In addition to their cash, some billionaires maintain a portion of their funds in such alternative investments as fine art, expensive musical instruments, and rare books. The ultra-rich and billionaires may also own intellectual property rights, such as the rights to songs and movies. Investing in these rights can produce enormous returns. Cryptocurrency Although many people have become billionaires by investing a small percentage of their wealth in cryptocurrencies, others have lost money. Cryptocurrencies are increasingly becoming accepted as legitimate investments that should be considered when accumulating wealth. The investment philosophies of billionaires differ significantly, so it's difficult to generalize about where they keep their money. These are all suitable investments for billionaires. Consequently, they prefer portfolios of diversified investments that reduce their risk. Combining more than one of these investments may increase their wealth. So there you have it, where the super-rich keep all that money. What would you do if you were worth a few billion dollars? What would you invest in? Are you willing to take the risk, or would you rather just play it safe? Comment below and let us know what you think. For more infotainment, make sure to drop a like and subscribe. That's it for now. Thanks for watching the video and see you next time.